comes to yoga, there are all sorts of ways to enjoy the practice. Yeah, Heather, so we have seen all kinds of yoga on CI Living. We've seen goat yoga before. Yes. Prairie fruit farms. But uh, we've heard of goat yoga, but have you ever heard of boat yoga? Yeah. It's a thing. It's something you can actually try on Lake Decatur. And as I found out, it's a really unique way to get in touch with nature. There are a few things more relaxing in central Illinois than taking in the sunset on Lake Decatur. As the rays of light dance off the cool water, you can't help but feel connected to nature. But as you look out on the lake, you notice a group of people who are taking it to the next level. It was so great, and the wind was in your face, and you're just so free to, to move, and you just feel so relaxed. Cherie Timmons is someone who knew she had to give standing paddle yoga a try. I love yoga. I've been doing yoga for a long time. And anything I think outside, I'm willing to try, especially if it has something to do with yoga. It's that idea of being outdoors that prompted Abby McIntosh to bring paddleboard yoga to Decatur. Yoga is very trendy right now, of course, very popular. Um, paddleboarding is becoming more popular as well. So obviously you see this long, wide platform that's about the size of a yoga mat, and you think, oh, we could do some things on this too. So I think the two kind of meld together pretty well. But I also think it's about that, that ability to calm your mind, an ability to breathe through chaos. Embracing a challenge to be able to disconnect from the stresses of life. You know, we always have we always have birds flying overhead. We have the ducks in the water with us. We have the trees that surround us. Um, a nice breeze in the air. The water beneath us is very calm and uh, refreshing. Tonight it was very refreshing. Um, so that is an element that people don't always get if they go into a yoga studio. It's just a little different way to enjoy enjoy yoga, but also paddle boarding and the water. Feeling free to enjoy yoga and view the sunset and nature's beauty. I think you're more free because you're in the wide open. You're not in a room. From a whole new perspective. So, Heather, how do you think you would do with standing paddle yoga? Because the whole time oh. I was out there, I was like in awe of these ladies going, Yeah. How are they doing it? They say it's not that hard, but I don't know how I would do it. Well, you have to have some amazing balance, I'm guessing, you know, so you don't rock back and forth and yeah. fall in, because that would probably be my luck. I would fall in. Yeah. Well, and one of the things that Abby had said that uh, one of her sound bites that we didn't have time to put in the story was, was her saying that they kind of, their prerequisite is that if you've maybe taken one yoga class and and maybe one time on a paddle board, you're going to be okay. You're good to go. That's what she said, but she's, she's like, uh, if you're adventurous for the first time, you can try it. So it's and cool. if you're super adventurous, you'll add a goat. Yes. <laughs> I will come for, if you add a, a goat to that, uh, I will come for a follow-up story. I absolutely promise. Cool stuff. Have goat boat.